Yo, what's great? It's Blue Lagoon, and today I have another Nike SB Dunk shoe review for you. And today I have the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Malachites, and I'll be starting with the box. So this is the box that the Nike SBs come in, the classic purple Nike SB box. Okay, this is the size tag, Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Phantom Malachite Hyper Royal, size 10. Okay, so the shoes come with, you know, your classic Nike SB paper. The white with the green patterns all over. These are laces that the shoes come with. These, I'll get into the color a little later. <laughs> and this green color right here. Um, and also, the shoes come with this Nike SB sticker if you can see that and I got these retail from my local skate shop clockwork and making so just letting people know okay so these are the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Malachites here's a a whole overview of the shoe real quick just to show you how it is but this is with the green laces I will show the shoe with the laces that they came on with which is this color and I'm just starting with the shoe right now. So, in your mid panel is a blue suede. How is this suede overall on the shoe? Really, the whole shoe is suede, but just know so you know that this is the little blue part. The suede on this shoe is definitely phenomenal. Can't lie to you. Been collecting for these last couple of years, and I can definitely say that the suede on this shoe they did an outstanding job not only does it feel great but it looks fantastic look at the way that bobby moved it looked like water smooth you know and even on the back too you know of this blue royal color it's it's nice man you can't go wrong with these you know Nike SB slightly stepped their game up, you know, because the suede they was giving us was all right suede. You, you hear my last reviews, you see that I'm not really saying their suede is like fantastic, but this suede is pretty nice. People are saying this could be pig suede, man. If it is, well, you can definitely tell the difference between this suede and last year releases. To be honest. But yeah, just for the mid panel, that royal color, all suede. The check is also suede in this green color too. It looks very nice, you know. Feels great, man. It feels butter, you know. I don't really have any old SBs from, you can say, silver era where the suede on there, people always say it's fantastic, but they're stepping the game up, y'all. You know, they're stepping the game up for sure. So, just now you know that suede all across the shoe is definitely, definitely, definitely superb. All right? And then you have this. What color is this? I seen of you, people be saying it's white. To be honest, it, if it's a white, it's more of a grayish white, or they put a mix in with a different color in it, because this isn't just plain white, man. This, it can't be, because look at this. This is white. You feel me? Uh, it seems like the tongue is white. But this color right here, it can't be a whole white. You know, I'll try to look up certain colors, what it is. It's, it's probably a... Uh, I, man, I don't want to just give y'all the wrong answer, but just know that when you get these in person, they're gonna, of course, they're gonna look whitish, but it can't be a full white compared to this mid. So you know, so they put like a a grayish, little tannish color in there to make the shoe seem like an older SB type of um, colorway type deal. But yes, the color is the little whitish, grayish, tannish color. And when suede again, how is it? Oh, come on now, you already know this jump. Butter, stop playing with it. 
it feels good again I don't know if this is pig suede people saying it is I do not fully know the answer but I can tell you that this suede and this shoe feels fantastic all around the whole shoe you know so I don't know how it how if it gets dirty how will it clean but I'm pretty sure it will clean decent and it should hold up over time pretty nicely that's across the whole shoe you know the whitish gold all around the shoe of course in the front and the back even having in the back right here you got your green stitched in Nike and then you got your steel your suede um, the inside of the shoe again is that same color I'll be getting to that a little bit later it just seems like the whitest parts of the shoe I'll begin to the mix so and the, on the tongue but with the midsole, it's white, you have a gum bottom, and you have an offset hit with the green stitching. This pops fit the shoe. You know, that's why I had to put them green, show you with the green laces, so it can bow, 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 triple threat, you know. Really, it's a more than triple threat, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> okay, so it's the bottom of the shoe, gum bottom. This makes the shoe pop. Some people say they don't like gum bottoms, but this is a skate shoe, so this is better for grip. You got your green cushion Nike SB hit. The cushion is inside the sole. It's just that it's just gonna show you that it just comes out the sole, the bottom right here, but the cushion is inside. Of course, the midsole of the shoe. Less on the forefront, more in the heel area. But yeah, okay, so here's the tongue. You got the blue tongue, mesh tongue, put the green laces to, you know, add a little nice twist to it. Then you have the Nike SB in green with white all around it. Can't be mad at that. Inside of the shoe, you have the green lettering. And then the insole of the shoe, you have the air zoom because you have an air unit inside the heel of the insole and you have your Nike SB in white and I'll take out the insole too okay so these are the shoe trees that the shoes come with the classic paper you know they keep a minimum and taking out the insole again it's green it's supposed to have air zoom on it but you know they added a little mix to it Nike SB on the bottom nothing in the front front Again, you have your, air, your zoom air unit in the back heel for cushion for that heel bruise. And then to make up for the cushion in the forefront of the shoe is this extra padded layer in the forefront of the insole. You know, and I will get into the shoe, inside of the shoe. So basically, the straps in the shoe are blue. I'm trying to just get it. You know, better view of that. The they're blue. I'm tripping, yo. Okay, right here. They're blue straps again. Keep repeating myself. For lockdown, this is what keeps your shoe a little snug on you, even if you don't um, lace up the shoes necessarily tight. And this is the size tag to the shoe. You know. Does anybody want to know if you're getting fakes or if you want to know what it really looks like? This is the size tag inside of the shoe. You know, so just letting you know that. Okay, and here's the other shoe with the regular laces that these came on or that these come with automatically. Oh, I forgot to say the laces. And the ones that come already come on the shoe, DS. It has green aglets slash lace tips that come on this one, but yet the green ones have the blue aglet slash lace tips that come with these. So just letting you know, different lace tips, which is pretty fire, you know, very fire. Which one do I prefer? I like that green on there, but I want mine some different laces like some blue ones okay so again 
This shoe is fire. Very, very fire. Um, these are similar to those vintage greens that came out with like a month or so ago, a couple weeks ago. These are pretty uh great though. I did want those vintage greens for sure. But my local didn't get them yet, so if they don't get them, I'll just pay resale for those, even though the resale isn't really too high on those. My size is 10. I don't, the bigger size is going to be a little up. But these are, if you can't get the vintage greens, I say definitely get these. Me and my homie did ask each other, like, which ones would we go with? Would we really go with the vintage green ones? Or would we go with the with these Malachites? And me and him both said these Malachites just because of the gum bottom and how they added this little whitish uh, maybe it's a some type of phantom grayish tannish looking color but just because they added this on there he was like yeah we would go with these over those and I can't lie to you I still choose that even though I still want those vision greens but both of these colorways are pretty nice it's kind of weird that they both dropped you know right after each other but who really cares at this point you know if you can't get those get these if you can't get these get those these are pretty fire you know you can't go wrong with these this is a general release with great quality better quality than quick strikes to be honest that's kind of wild you know they put putting better quality on general releases than on some quick strikes which really doesn't make sense, but you can't really get mad at that because these are going to be a lower price anyway compared to a quick straight. But yeah, these are fire. Can't go wrong. And I will have an on foot pretty soon. This is not an on foot. I'm just doing a snug test to see how, how true to size the shoe is. Just letting people know off the rip. Okay, okay. Hmm. Off the rip, I will say that these aren't the snuggest SB that I have gotten. But I will say that I can definitely feel more snug than a lot of other SBs. That, well, yeah, yeah, you can say it ain't at the snuggest. But I'm still saying it's pretty snug, you know, because definitely at the toe box. Like the whole toe box, I ain't gonna lie, snug. He's gonna take. I say a day or two to break in, you know. It ain't, it's not hurting my foot. It's just that, you know, it's a Nike SB Dunk. You know, it's a skate shoe. Skate shoes are meant to be snug slightly, but these are definitely snug. If I had to rate it a 1 through 10, these at least getting, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. These are definitely getting at least a 6, probably like a 6 out of 10, close to a 7, you know. And it's really in that toe box area right here you know but these are going to be easy to break in because they're suede good suede so all it takes is a good I, I say a day or two just to be safe but really it could take like a couple hours maybe but that just depends on the person how much you're wearing what you're doing in them but they're not too crazy snug but at the same time you can definitely feel that snug when you put them in you know not why so sad snug but they're still snug when you get them just now you know would you go true to size? I said, if you don't want that breaking time, go up half a size, you know. But you're going to maybe have a little heel slippage. But if you know Nike SBs and know that they're going to break in, go true to size still like I did. You know, can't go wrong with that.